All right, I'm gonna do a quick review here of the Bo Fuo uh, bone conducting Bluetooth headphones. So here they are. They got the bendy wire in the middle, and then we have the hard plastic on either side. Got our three buttons, power, volume, up and down. And just like that, look at that RGB. Wow. They don't sync up. They uh, seemingly like ran, like just a bunch of different effects going on. So uh, you can triple tap to turn that off. So there's that. There is an indicator light right there on whether it's connected. So you have volume up and down. That's also how you skip tracks. So all this stuff is on the Amazon page. I'm sure you've seen it, but the, the big thing with these is the fact that they are not actually bone conducting. So you have this little disc right here, and that's normally where you'd have your like little rubber pad that you would put up against your skin. And instead, there's it's, it's just all the hard plastic still. And there's a little hole right there where the sound comes out. So in actuality, these bone conducting headphones are not in fact bone conducting. It ends up being more like a little speaker just shooting sound into your ear, not an earbud, right? Um, so kind of odd, but normally that would disqualify it for most people. It's not bone conducting. It's not good. Don't like it. It's actually kind of okay. I actually don't hate it. Um, this results in, I think the biggest drawback to this is zero bass whatsoever. Uh, people can hear more of what you are listening to because rather than just this vibrating, it's just shooting uh, the sound out like a little speaker. That's a problem. And other than that, I think practically for most people, because at this price range are not going to be caring too much about the audio quality, if you're just listening to music casually and you don't need bass, or if you're listening to podcasts and you want to have that open sound stage and bone conducting bothers you, then this is okay. It also functions as a headset, and I'll throw in an audio test right here. This is what it sounds like in a quiet environment with in a relatively small place. As you can tell, that is not bad at all. That's actually quite good. And I mean, for the price, not, a, not bad as a headset. Audio quality, I mean, I don't know. Again, this is, it's like dollar store audio quality. You're not, <laughs> you're not coming to this for amazing uh, uh, quality there. Instead, you know, you're getting wireless. I think the battery is decent. It's only 150 milliamps, which is pretty surprising. It says it's Bluetooth 5.3. I haven't had any connection issues really with it being out of range or I don't know how these two would desync from one another, but um, it charges via micro B. So that's kind of lame that it's not C, but oh well. The biggest thing I'd seen is in far of reviews from other people is the fact that this, the actual clip itself is not soft rubber and there's no cushions anywhere. It's, it's hard plastic and it's sitting on your ear. So for me, the only problems that has caused is getting it on is quite awkward and then finding the spot right where it fits nicely and then it's good. Um, because the back is bendy, um, normally a problem I found with stiff backed, any type of earbuds really, where the wire is, uh, can't bend is if you lean back, it just pushes them off your ears and you can't, you can't lean back in a chair. You can't lay down in a bed or on a couch or anything. You just can't wear them. These, depending on the angle, will just sort of bend nicely and you can keep them on. Other times, if you push it just right, it will, it will adjust them on your ear. So I guess it, it's better than it could be, but it's also not amazing. The buttons are plenty big, which is nice. It's just an odd thing to get used to pressing behind your ear. Um, but you know, with time, that wouldn't be so bad. 
So overall, are they cheap? Yes. Does it feel like it's going to fall apart right away? No, not necessarily. It's not waterproof at all. It's not that good. Um, it doesn't sound amazing, but if bone conduction like makes you feel the heebie-jeebies, which I know there's some people who just ugh, don't like the feeling of the sound in their head, and you want something that's a bit more uh, secluded to just your ears and a speaker, not perfectly, right? But and for the cheap price and you know you can take calls i know a lot of uh, truckers and people who travel and whatnot take calls a lot have really been gravitating towards bone conducting uh headphones for that reason because they can hear their surroundings this also works very well i mean you get some slight blockage right same thing with bone conducting earbuds you sort of have something in front of your ear ish but other than that you can you can still hear everything just fine so an interesting pair as far as the low, low, low budget. I don't think I could find anything cheaper. I got these for what, like $7 it was on sale. Right now it's up to 13. Either way, it's around that price range of extremely cheap. You couldn't find anything cheaper. You know, if you, if you go to Walgreens and grab some earbuds, those are going to be $7 there anyway. So an interesting option for those who want to go on the extreme budget and have somehow already tried bone conducting and know they don't like it but somewhat like the perks of it i don't know anyways that's the video for today i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know if there's any other cheap items you want me to take a look at and uh if you want to see any other reviews of audio products. I have plenty of those. You can check them out. So subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.